In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install Tails OS on VirtualBox on a Windows 10 host machine. I'm gonna show you also how to configure the virtual machine of Tails OS so that it runs smoothly on VirtualBox within Windows 10. I'm gonna also show you how to share files and folders between the two operating systems, meaning the guest operating system, which is Tails, and the host operating system, which is Windows 10. But most importantly, I'm gonna also show you what are the security implications of sharing files and folders between Tails OS and Windows 10. So let's start. The first thing to do is to download Tails OS ISO from Tails OS website. So open your web browser and then go to this website, tails.boom.org. So tails.boom.org and hit enter. And here, click on Get Tails. And you see on the bottom, it says for virtual machines, ISO image. Click on it. And then here, click on Download Tails ISO image. So the download will begin. So I already downloaded the ISO image here before. So I'm going to cancel this one. And we're going to use the one that I downloaded. But I'm going to show you how to verify the download once you finish downloading it. So here, let's suppose that the download finished. I cancelled it. So click on Verify Tails here after the download finishes. And let's choose the ISO file. And here I put the ISO file under this folder here. Of course, choose the ISO file that you just downloaded for Tails. So here it is, choose it, and then click on Open. And this is the verification taking place. It's very important to verify the file in case there was an attack of man in the middle and the file got corrupted. So wait for the verification to finish. It shouldn't take long. Of course, it depends on the speed of your hard disk. So now, after you have the verification successful message, we have the ISO image and we verified it. Now we need to close the browser. And then the next step is to open VirtualBox. So here I'm assuming that already you have VirtualBox installed on your Windows 10 machine. If you don't have VirtualBox installed on your Windows 10 machine, please take a look at the link of a video in the description that will show you step by step how to install VirtualBox on your Windows 10 machine. So open VirtualBox and here Click on New, and let's name it Tails. Select where you want to put it. Here I'm going to keep it in the default folder. For the type of the machine, of course, here you need to click the drop-down list and choose Linux. And for the version, click and choose other Linux 64-bit, and then click on Next. For the memory, of course, if your host allows it, you should give it at least 2 gigabytes. So here I'm going to give it 4 gigabytes, which amounts to 4096 megabytes. Click Next. Here, I don't want to create any virtual hard disk. And I'm going to explain to you why I'm not going to create one. Because Tails is a non-persistent OS when it runs in a virtual machine. So there's no need to create a virtual hard disk. We will attach the ISO file to the virtual machine and we will load it each time we load the machine. So here, click on Do not add a virtual hard disk and then click on Create. And then click on Continue. Now we still need to make some modifications to the configurations of the virtual machine. So make sure it is selected here on the left and then click on Settings and then click on System. First, make sure Enable I.O. APIC is checked. Here it is checked by default. If it is not, of course, check it. And for the processor, of course, give it more than one CPU because otherwise it will run very slowly. So here I'm going to give it simply two virtual CPUs. For display, we don't need to put anything. Now for the storage, as you see here, we don't have any storage because we didn't create a virtual hard drive 
and we don't need it so click on empty here and we need to attach here the ISO file so click here on the disk on the right and then click on choose a disk file and here you need to select your tails ISO file browse to it here I put it under software ISOs and images tails of course browse to the location where you saved your tails ISO file click on it and then click on open and it's very important from now on that you don't change the location of the tails ISO file where you saved it so here for network as you see it is not by default we don't need to change it and there's still one thing that I want to show you it's how you can copy files from tails to your host machine and from your host machine maybe to tails so how to share files but before I show you this please note that this defies the purpose of tails which is designed to be an amnesiac operating system meaning when you turn the machine off it should forget everything so if you copy files from tails to your host machine you're gonna be leaving a trace just be aware of this I'm gonna show you and it's up to you to decide so to do this click on shared folders and here you see we don't have any machine folders click on the plus sign and click on the drop down arrow here next to folder path and click on other and here choose a folder or create a new folder where you want to share the information with the guest operating system meaning the tails operating system so let me create here a new folder under documents let me go to documents and then right click here and just select a new folder let's say tails temp of course name it whatever you want and then click on tail stamp here or on the folder that you created and then click select folder and then here you have an option saying read only so if you want it to be read only only you can click it here read only meaning from tails you cannot delete anything on it but you can read from it to the tails operating system and for the auto mount here click on auto mount and then into mount point click in it and then put slash simply and then click OK and then click OK again so now let's start tails everything is configured so make sure tails is selected and then click on start let me minimize virtual box we don't need it for the time being and the tails virtual machine should start and here it is starting simply wait for it to start by default it selected tails and it is starting now let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see and you see here that tails started and it's asking you to choose your language choose your keyboard layout and choose other formats and each time you're gonna start tails it will ask you this because tails is a non-persistent operating system when you started from a virtual machine using an ISO file like we did now so here simply click on start tails and the startup will continue and here's tails started let me make this window a little bit bigger it should adjust automatically and here it is adjusted and you see that we have the network is connected here and we have our browser let me try to open my website so now let me show you how to transfer files from and to tails and also please be careful because as I told you before tails is designed to be an amnesiac operating system and you'll be leaving a trace if you transfer files from your guest machine to your host machine and vice versa so click on applications and then click on files here and you see here that you have the tail stamp folder so this is a folder that we created here let me zoom out a little bit and show you so this is under documents we created the tail stamp so here's the folder so let me create a file here to see so I right clicked here and then a new folder and let's say here test tails 
click enter and you see it appears here directly so if you put anything here so let me see if the downloads here i have i have like this file here is called free cam so if i copy it and i go back to test tales here and i just passed it it should appear here and you see it is here so if you delete it here it should be deleted here so make sure it is selected click on delete and then delete so it is empty and it disappeared in my host operating system also so that was it for tails i hope that this video shed some light on how to install and use tails under virtualbox for you if you think that this video might help others please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video